hey everybody this is grace this video the first i, I want to talk about that um i have been watching over the years on my original channels well, starting with my original channel I, I may have mentioned this before but it was like well back in august of 2021 it was seven years that i had started making videos on that channel i, heart, I don't use it all that much but um and during that time, since then, I've seen so many. I've seen so many different things. First, all I thought was it was music and how tos, like how to speak another language or how to fix your or whatever. Um, before then, then I saw people doing stuff. So anyway, I got into it, and uh, more and more into YouTube, and saw so many different genres. Um, you know, it's supposed to be one big community, but each genre I've noticed that I've run across. That I've watched that I pay attention to that doesn't mean not they all do it it's just what I've seen and one size doesn't fit all anyway um, so that's gonna be for the rest of the video it's what I've seen it might not be what you've seen but they have ten some of them tend to have uh, the content creators some of them important some of them um, will get into little like battles with one another make videos against you know what that one says this one says you know they debate and argue and all that and uh it's like a drama that comes up and then it goes away and i've seen that since like right after i started making videos way back then okay and uh you know th that's nothing that unusual i'm a social and behavioral scientist and uh taught at college and university and I'm more laid back, sociologist, you know, more laid back about how I present things. And uh, anyway, it wasn't something intentional that happened as it, you know, I wasn't doing research or anything. But um, over the years, I, I, you know, noticed that usually what happens, and this is kind of common in everyday face-to-face -face world too, um, not too common, but you know what I'm saying, that... The community of people, like a social circle, um, they will take care of the problems themselves if, if they possibly can and can do it legally. Um, they tend to, like if there's somebody that's really bad, that's really making them look bad, that's really doing something wrong, you know, I'm not talking about anything illegal, okay, let me say that. Well, at least as far as I know, it's not illegal. But um, I'm not a lawyer or anything along that line. No member of law enforcement. So I don't try to act as though I am, you know, like some people do. And that's another type, if they see somebody doing that. It's some people in the community will, you know, if it's close enough, they will, you know, basically kind of shun them. And, uh, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll point it out. They will point out what are the problems and why they kind of discredit that person. They um, and work at the against the person's uh, credibility in these things. You know how credible are they, and uh, with what they're saying, you know, that they, they they'll use that word credibility and um, on and on. And over time, they do this. And sometimes it's just lather, rinse, repeat. I've said this on other channels about people who have narcissistic and or histrionic behaviors. Um, you know, the, you know, whatever community might do something like that, you know, can, you know, kind of run them out of town. <laughs> you know, that's what they try to do, basically, you know, virtually. And, uh, yeah, okay. So, 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 so some of them do that. Sometimes. It doesn't always happen. doesn't always work. But over time, you know, that they, you know, some of them might go as far as to move to do something legal against them, like a copyright strike or, a, um, you know, maybe give it, try to give them some kind of strike or whatever. If they've, you know, if they've gone, you know, across the line and I've not known it to work that much. My own experience, it could work more often. It's just my experience. Like I said, it's going to go for the whole video. And that doesn't make it the rule. It just makes it my experience and how I saw it. So, um, I've seen it recently, yeah, one. <laughs> and it was a pretty bad person all around, all around, in my view, from what I understand. Okay, all of this. So anyway, um, 
but often and what was unintentional was for me to realize over this time that that is really what I would like to see if, if I were doing research I would definitely want to see that the community takes care of itself that the people inside the community whatever or social circle or genre or whatever the com their community whatever they're going to call it that they take care of themselves they say no we're not going to allow you to say that now sometimes it's people who believe in total freedom of speech and but they have their limits okay i believe in freedom of speech i know their consequences i don't make the rules you know these i have never known a social media um, platform that did not have rules against you know their limits okay you can't do say or whatever this i've never known it and i've been online since 1990 so i don't make the rules i just know what they are i mean know that they have them tend to I can't say about every one of them I don't know all of them but anyway boy that's a lot of disclaimers <laughs> yeah. by the way read the disclaimers in the description box below this video on YouTube anyway some of them yeah they they, they say you know some things are just socially morally whatever it's not right and we won't allow that you're doing you're harming people and or yourself and or others um, what you're saying is causing more problems for whomever and uh, some will say that it's even legal illegal whatever they're doing I don't know why they don't contact the law enforcement but instead um, but you see what I'm saying that, that that's happened and I've seen it on various social media platforms not just you know, ones where people are doing videos but when they see you know people see one another and hear one another they don't have to really see one another you're not seeing me right here but you see what I'm saying okay okay maybe you see what I'm saying <laughs> so many maybes I'm not one to say everything is 100% across the board because in this kind of thing one size doesn't fit all so anyway now what I've seen myself something well I've seen it quite a bit and this is not all but more recently is people trying to take away from the credibility of the others you know if they are any kind of um, expert or whatever you know, anybody who has the right to speak it's really wrong in my view okay it's like for one it's if a if a person of any age you know we're all talking I'm talking about adults here um, the person doesn't have any children now this is nothing new to hear but they said, if, they, if they, you don't have any children, you don't have any right to say anything about the way, you know, any, anything about children. Some will go that far. If you don't have children, you didn't raise any children, you don't have the right to talk about them. Okay. False. Bomb. <laughs> False. Uh, since when are you the person who, has, who says what the other persons or other people have the right to speak about? Really? I mean, and these are people, like I said, usually are the ones who believe in freedom of speech, but they, are, they will say, like I just said, you don't have the right to. They believe in the right to freedom, freedom of speech, but they tell people you don't have the right to talk about children because you don't have any. You see how wrong that is? Anyway, there was one other, other one I wrote down, but it's not really the same thing. It's not along the same line, but... It's um, that if you don't vote, well, it is, actually. If you don't vote, you don't have a voice in what's going on with the government. Wrong. Okay. Can you imagine, you know, in the United States it is, can you imagine if we were forced to vote? I know this is a stretch there, but, yeah, if we were forced to vote. I don't want to live in that kind of world, in that kind of country. No, we're not forced to vote. In fact, that is our voice, you know, whomever, you know, anybody who does it. It's their voice because they don't agree with any, they don't like any of the candidates. They don't have to vote for them. And that is their voice. And they can continue using their voice. And who are you to tell, again, once again, people who believe in freedom of speech are telling people that you don't have any voice because you didn't do what they think you should do. Wrong. They do not have to vote. They do not have to vote. 
And thank goodness we live in a country where we're free. We have that, we're, that freedom to voice our opinion, which is, I'm not voting for any of you. I don't like any of you. See? Anyway, so they try to take away from, like, if somebody's talking about something political. Well, I can see who you voted for, and that's what some will say. And this is setting up a little scene. Another one says, I didn't vote for anybody. Oh, well, there's your problem. You don't have a voice in it anyway. You shouldn't be. You didn't vote. You don't have any voice. You have no right to talk about it. Yes, they do. And you trying to take away their right? Really? Hmm. So, anyway. But let's see what else I wrote on my list here. But that's been, those two have been pet peeves for mine for a long time. Like, if, um, now, if you're saying that, now, here's a flip of it. Now, say somebody says something like, um, the, you know, where you don't have the right, such as this here, at least in this state, Texas, it, you cannot say that you are a counselor unless you are a licensed professional counselor. Unless you've done, gone, you've done what it takes, you've gone through all of that it is, and the state says you're a counselor. Now, there are people who believe that they can get around that, which they do in many cases, um, but they can stretch it too far, okay? So they do not have the right to say that they are a counselor. You know, there are things that you don't have the right, even though you think you can say that, you don't. I don't make the rules. It is what it is. You know, and some, some fun things like they, um, you know, like, um, see, I, I'm not a lawyer, so I'm trying to stay away from anything that's a lawyer, but I was told that personally myself many years ago. I don't know if they've changed it all, and I doubt it, about counselors, because that's what I studied for in graduate school. I was a career student, was to become a counselor. But you'll see a lot of people thinking they can do therapy. A lot of people who can uh, think that they can give medical advice and they are, n they are not counselors, they're not therapists, they're not doctors, they're, you know, whatever respectively goes with one another. But they'll still do it. You know, because they think that they have the right to say things and tell people stuff. And we all can make a mis you know, we can call it a mistake, like somebody says, my head hurts, well, here's an aspirin, here's a Tylenol, here's whatever, even though that might not be what they should have in the first place. You're not their doctor. Or you should take these supplements, or you should take, you're not their doctor. You're not their healthcare professional, their physical healthcare professional. So, I mean, but we have grown up where people, to some of us, where people do take on those roles when they shouldn't. And sometimes it's by accident, it's not meant. But for some, it's a money maker. They tell people, you know, what kind of, um, what are those things called? Oh, shoot, I don't know, because I'm not in that, in that. But you know, like, you should put some of this in your that, or you should put some of that in whatever, and that would help you, you know. Uh, herbs, maybe, something essential oils or something like this, something that in order to fix this or they take these kinds of vitamins or do that. No, you're not their, their medical health care professional provider. I'm not a lawyer. I can't say that 100%. But come on, really? Seriously. I mean, I have looked it up before, but I don't know what would be the credible source as far as that goes, but it says no, but that could be wrong. Be the disclaimers in the description box below this video on YouTube. And like I said, I'm not a medical health care professional. Anyway, but some will use things to, to go back to this, to, um, and some of them know to say, you know, the credibility of the other person, and they know to say, I, well, I'm not a lawyer either. I'm not an attorney. I'm not a paralegal, I'm not anything like that, but, uh, for one, I know that's not something you can do, you know, but they admit to it, so there's no them saying that they know for certain, I don't know for certain, so, um, anyway, but what, some of the things I have seen, it's an observation, I'm a sociologist, 
And I've seen this about the community, really, like I said from the beginning. Instead of the community coming in and saying, no, we're not allowing it. Now, some of them go to extremes and it winds up being illegal what they do. And uh, But many of them just say, we, we know, <laughs> we're, we're not, we don't like that. The group got together and took a vote kind of thing and said no. You know, I mean, these things happen. You know, who's to say? But they do. You know, why? What's the true motive? There could be other motives. Some people are get, gaining money off of causing little tiffs between one another, or debates, arguments. You know, some might call them fights and battles and whatever terminology they want to use. But yeah, that can happen. So, but anyway, I've been noticing, once again, probably more than, out there than I know about. But yeah, but those are trying to tell people, you know, because you don't have children, you don't know about, you, know, you don't know what anything about children unless you've had them. No. No, 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 no. You know, I've, there was some other thing that I had said before, and I used an example was, does a doctor have to have cancer in order to be able to treat people with, can with cancer? And what are the doctors called that do that? I forgot. But our... You know, anything. It's, it's pretty stupid to me. <laughs> I'm going to use that word, stupid, to say, if, unless you've had, unless you know. And some people will use that to try to buff themselves up because they are not what they, what the true person. Like the, they're not counselors, but they try to buff themselves up because, well, unless you've experienced this, then you have no right. Yeah, they do. They did their homework, literally. They earned their, their right to say they're counselors. The people who actually are. Anyway, there's so many of this. So many I've seen so many over these years. People trying to say that they are what they're not. Like one of them even was saying that she was degreed like me. And I uh, knew you weren't. She wasn't. Later on, you know, I, I made a comment that I'm not a lawyer. Not an attorney, not someone who would know 100%, but I don't think that's quite, or is it illegal to say you're degreed when you're not? That ended that. She no longer said she was. But she has a habit of saying she is what I am, a sociologist. I'm trained in research, too. She's a researcher. <laughs> no, she's not. No. Anyway, see, people will do that. They, some people, some, and not this is not one size fits all, but some people will go to that. And maybe some need to look up the definition of, or the characteristics, the criteria they may meet of narcissists. Not diagnosing. Yeah, I'm not diagnosing anybody. Never do. Anyway, wrapping this up. Talk to you on another video. Bye.